while we plan a writing course we'll have to make another important decision which is to draw up a syllabus okay and who will draw up the syllabus if the syllabus is already there then what the teachers do they go into the classroom and teach according to the uh, teacher's manual uh, practically ideally it may be good but practically it may not be good because i would like you to come out of your comfort zone and become syllabus designers on your own i believe that the language teacher is the syllabus designer they make decisions on daily basis they take into account uh, multi dimensional uh, situations or contexts of their students because each day is a different day each day is requires different strategies different decisions different uh, kind of uh, methodology or techniques or approaches so drawing up a syllabus is important decision and in this regard it's important to uh, bring in the content which is aligned with the learning experiences of the students for example it's easy to draw up syllabus for listening and speaking but making that syllabus actually adaptable to that of writing uh, is important so what i want to say is that while we design syllabus for listening and speaking it should help uh, uh, generate students interest in writing as well so there are number of decisions which are made while drawing up a syllabus one of that decisions is the structural syllabus by structural i mean the grammar i mean the sentence structures i mean the sentence patterns i mean the use of accuracy so this is how uh, teachers need to decide how many minutes they want their students practice structure in the classroom then we have functional syllabus which is uh, which refers to the rhetorical activities for example how we can teach our students comparison and contrast classification exemplification illustration describing narrating or defining right or writing an autobiography or persuading readers into believing what they have written or argumentation so functional syllabus is the most favorite one and i am in favor of this one but let's not make decisions which compromise uh, the structural part of the syllabus as well then we have topical syllabus whether we would like our students explore, read literature and within that literature write about the themes they have explored and apart from literature we can introduce our students expose our students to the social issues for example housing health care education and other stuff then we have situational syllabus which is the transactional one like how to apply for a job how to book an aeroplane ticket how to order meal at mcdonald's how to make complaints how to write memos or how to write essays to pass a course so situation syllabus is also important but again my point of view is my contention is that let's make decisions but our decisions have need to be made in an uh, balanced manner which don't affect the other choice of the syllabus then we have got skills and processes uh, which is about uh, generating ideas then putting those ideas into words into uh, then organizing those words into uh, sentences then writing uh, an introduction then a conclusion then we have task based syllabus which is giving problem students students and asking them to solve those uh, uh, uh problems so in this regard it's important as i said earlier in this module that the teacher role is pivotal teacher is the syllabus designer although we have uh, so many ready made uh, textbooks or materials 
available in the market or available in the schools which come up with the manuals but it's the teacher who are actually uh, the syllabus designer 